KI67. KI67. KI67, written with or without a hyphen, is a biomarker of cellular proliferation. It is a nuclear protein encoded by the MKI67 gene. And MKI67 stands for Marker of Proliferation KI67. Because this protein is detected only in cells that are actively dividing and proliferating and absent in cells that are in resting phase, a higher level of this protein found in tumor samples would indicate that the cancer cells are rapidly dividing and that the tumor is growing. Testing for KI67 is often performed on breast cancer patients, for which KI67 is used as a marker of treatment response or a prognostic marker. For example, several clinical trials have shown that patients with low KI67 levels, that is, levels less than 10% at baseline and after two weeks of neoadjuvant endocrine therapy, had excellent long-term outcome, whereas patients with KI67 greater than 10% at baseline and after two weeks had significantly worse long-term outcome. Studies have also shown that KI67 values greater than 10% two to four weeks after starting neoadjuvant endocrine therapy indicate persistent cell proliferation, resistance to endocrine therapy, and increased risk of recurrence. KI67 is detected via immunohistochemistry using a rapid monoclonal antibody. Quantification is done by selecting a few areas of interest or fields on the slide and looking at them under the microscope to count the number of KI67 positive cells as a percentage of the total number of tumor cells counted, usually at least 200 tumor cells counted. So what is the function of KI67 proteins? KI67 proteins are encoded by the MKI67 gene as two isoforms, both of which serve as a surfactant to keep mitotic chromosomes apart after breakdown of the nuclear envelope. Also, KI67 facilitates chromosome attachment to the mitotic spindle and individual chromosome mobility by covering the surface of chromosomes and creating a membrane-independent intracellular compartment. These are a couple of demonstrative functions of KI67.